five times a champion of the world, the Rocket, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Here comes the warrior, Kyron Wilson. The jester from Leicester, Mark Selby. I think it's good just to have nicknames. I think it just jazzes the sports for a little bit more. You, you've got to have a few nicknames. I think it's great. I've just got to get the message across to Barry and We need the old shirts with the nicknames on the back. That'd be great. Alan, the angles, McManus. I don't really care, you know, what people call the sticks and stones, you know, whether it's good or bad. Happy with it or stuck with it, I'm not really sure which to decide, but it is what it is. Just get on with it. Here comes Mark the Pistol, Alan. I, I understand why the guy called me it because it was sort of quick fire on the table, but uh, looking from the outside in, people think me from Northern Ireland and the Pistol, my nickname, it doesn't go down too well. It was Alan Hughes, the, the ex MC, that, that, that came up with a lot of the players' nicknames and. And he, I think he was standing with my dad one day at a tournament and I, I cleared the table or something and he said, oh, he's like a little wizard there. And then it just stuck. He says, I think I'll just start calling him that, the wizard the wish He's the ace in the pack. Here comes John Trump. I think all the good ones have been taken up now, so I think it's just a bit, it's a little bit wasted. I think um, it's just a little bit pointless. We finally come up with a nickname for this guy. He is the giant killer, Anthony McGill. I think... It, Kind of devalues the, the player a little bit having a nickname. To, to, to be fair, I, I think to be honest with you, so I'm not a huge fan of the nickname. Just introduce them by the name. Please welcome the Jitten Dynamo, Barry Hawking. I was quite shocked when Rob announced me as the Ditton Dynamo. I thought, oh, I can't believe. It. I thought, where's he got that one from? To be honest, I think I prefer the Hulk than that one, so I might have to have a word of him. I think the intros here are actually really good now, especially with Rob. Rob's fantastic. One of the most laid back characters the sport has ever known, but he'll fire it up this afternoon. Mark Williams! Ah, I don't like any of them. I just come up with something different, like, you know. I don't really like the Welsh. Um, pot the machine really because I don't pot that many balls to justify that name, but I don't know, probably the Welsh has been I'd like to be announced as. There you go. There's one for Rob. <laughs> well, we'll find out if uh, Rob likes that one. Do you like that one that the Welsh has been from that's, Mark Williams? That's brilliant, and I've just been chatting to him in the press room, and he said, Mate, you can call me whatever you like. I've been around for so long, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be at the top. Call me whatever you like, as long as it doesn't have an expletive. <laughs> Let's rattle through some of the nicknames then. How many of them are yours and how many of them did you inherit? Well, most of them I inherited because I'd never be so arrogant as to suddenly say, right, I'm going to change your nickname because, as you've just heard there with John, you know, that, that Wizard of Wishaw has been around for ages, so who am I to, to change it up? One that I definitely did change was Neil Robertson was the Melbourne potting machine, a bit like Mark Williams was the Welsh potting machine. I mean, it doesn't really have any alliteration to it, so I can't even remember where it came from, but I decided to go with the thunder from down under. That is very good. Which you it's can, a good one, isn't it? You oh, can really get your lips around that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good, yeah, yeah. But, but I think it's a bridge too far. The, the Ditton, I mean, the, the Hulk. What, why did you change the Hulk? Well, I don't know, because a few people said, oh, look, it's a bit boring, because his name is Hawk, as in Hawkins. And then I saw him when he came in on his birthday, and he said, Look, can we go back to the hawk? And I said, yeah, of course. I was mortified. I said, oh, sorry. We were just trying to, just trying to shake it up a little bit. But uh, he's pretty <laughs> laid back, Barry. But we, he's definitely the hawk and will yeah. be. Yeah, because no disrespect to the good people of Ditton. When you said the Ditton Dynamo, most people are going, where the hell's that? <laughs> <laughs> at, least you, at least you can do something with that. But I'll tell you the player that we're having a nightmare with, uh, in, in a fun way, Ricky Walden. For love nor money, we cannot come up with a nickname that Ricky is happy with. So he ran the New York Marathon, so then we had a little play on stamina man, marathon man, and then he said, Rob, I'm only going to run one marathon. It was three years ago. I think we need to let that go. <laughs> yeah. And then in China, this is absolutely true, I would never, ever use this as an intro because these guys are here trying to win the world championship. You certainly don't want to put them off. But in China, they call him the meatball. But it's a good Why one. do they call him well, the meatball? I've just found out from Ty. Can you do this on live television in the afternoon? Absolutely not. Okay. Oh, oh, sorry, in terms of an intro, <laughs> yeah. no, but I can explain. It's, it's very above board. So Ricky's initials RW. When you're using predictive text in Chinese, when you start typing in RW, it translates instantly into the meatball. <laughs> so, but how could you possibly use that as an intro? You can't. So at yeah. the moment, he is quite simply... Ricky Walden. Okay. Well, mind you, at least, actually, I mean, the modern day players, you do get their name right when they walk into the auditorium, not like on one occasion when you introduced me and had oh. that mental blank. Oh. Steve, do you know what? You were so good about that moment. <laughs> because 
It's a really, really funny thing. Names can just disappear out of your mind. The most obvious names, the most important names, but you were so good about that. And I, and I think... What did you call me as I walked down the stairs? Dennis Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a miracle he's still talking to me. Uh, it, was, it was that great run to the quarters in 2010. But do you know what? People said to me after that, because the audience laughed, they, people thought I'd done that on purpose, but I absolutely <laughs> hadn't. I was mortified. But you were fantastic. You came down the stairs, we had a hug, and if I remember correctly, just out of coincidence, and this wasn't planned, there was somebody in the front row wearing a big pair of glasses, and as he got to his chair, waiting to take on Neil Robertson, he's put the glasses on upside down and done that. <laughs> that is what a class act you uh, are. We're running out of time. Can I just say that you did the emceeing duties yesterday afternoon. Yeah. I did it yesterday morning because you were on London Marathon duty. I have to say, it's really nerve-wracking, isn't it? Oh, yeah. out, of, out of everything we do, you know, we sit here and you know, we're pretty comfortable here. But I tell you what, John, did you find that standing yeah. in the arena? I thought How it do was you a, hold your nerve well, every day? No, no, well, it, he's like Magnus Pike's love child anyway, isn't he? He stands there giving it all up. <laughs> <laughs> he's all over the place like this and he just gets on with it and they, they all love him in there and uh, he gets a great atmosphere. And then it's all got to calm down and he watch snooker. Yeah. Rob, great to see you. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks Thank you for, for having us. Over. It's been great fun. Thank you very much.